Pelka versus Bob. We got some people cheering for both players here as we go into grand finals of Through the Woods 10. Through the Woods 10. This is the big one. You don't want to miss it. And so begins. We've got C4 and a grenade on that top platform. Detonating both. All right. Running up with a grenade and a shield. And here we go. Landing some big aerials. Looking to just drop explosives and seal his dog fast. Getting so much. 70, 90% off of just nothing. It's been 20 seconds. Jesus Christ, Pelka. I've just played two sets in a row. This is the third one, and you are coming in ready to finish it. You say, yeah, well, if you're tired, let me finish this set quick. But there we go, the double downer looking for the triple. Here we go. Bob says, that's nice. Let me even this up with a couple of hits. I'm King K. Rule, King of the Kremlin. There is a reason that you should fear my name. Trying to cover that high recovery that uh, that Pelk has been using, but uh, that is a little harder for K. Rule than other characters, which means it's going to be a little safer. Going so deep with that Nokita, but Bob doing a great job dodging it, making sure not quite to be killed yet. Nice job getting the grab, getting that big back through that's going to kill Bob taking first blood and getting that first stock of this big grand final set. Bob having the tournament run of his life right now as far as I'm concerned. Ooh, but getting caught by that big up tilt under the platform. Pilka, e or Pilka evening things out. Playing so carefully with these grenades, but here we go, Bob running through. These big K rule hits, the big armor diffusing the grenades. This could be really big, but not finding a big kill move yet. 89% though. Bob is, has a lead and is trying to hold on to it. And Pelka is trying to defuse the situation, trying to use explosives to their advantage, trying to make something happen. Calling out that down smash with the grenade, not quite finding anything off of it, trying to get like a nice Stairmaster down air or something, but just not making it happen. Here we go, shielding, playing it so safe at center stage, throwing explosives, racking up percent, trying to disrupt Bob's game plan for long enough to find his way in. That will work. Down throw forward tilt will kill. Pelka now in the lead. Two stocks to one. Although at a percent where it would not be very hard for Bob to find a kill with Carol, especially with a berry and an up smash, evening out the stocks in game one of grand finals. Here we go. Here we go. The grenades, the down air starting to create some big percentage deficit. And that percentage deficit could be a big deal. We, we've discussed time and time again on stream how long k can live for and how good Bob is at coming back from these percent deficits. But Pelka is an efficiency monster. Bob looking for a big spike but not getting it. Barely, barely letting Pelka come back. That almost was insane. The crowd is being absolutely wild in right now. Short hop dare, throwing out the Nokita. Throwing out the grenades. Look at that, just on the prowl, finding the big up tilt on top platform. Game one, going to Pelka here in Grand Finals. Here we go. We've got Snake and King K. Rule going back to, back to Battlefield. We're just running it back. To be fair, with a game that close that went so back and forth, I'm not shocked. Down throw, down air. Okay, Pelka starting to run their game, though. Starting to show off what about their Snake makes them the number one seed for this tournament. Finding a really good back air. Sending the Nokita so deep, but... Bob utilizing that amazing recovery that Carol has to weave around it. Unfortunately, getting caught by the C4. Good job countering the dash attack. Nice work using the back air. Oh, but getting caught by that big up tilt. Pelka taking this, or Pelka taking this first stock so early in game two here. This could lead to a pretty big lead, especially with how aggressively he's using these explosives near ledge and defusing the situation. But Bob's starting to weave through, starting to land those big Hyrule hits, starting to show the monster that that character can be. Here we go, Snake's signature wall of bullshit. Starting to cause some problems, starting to cause some issues. Got a little shit on there, 
saying. Here we go. The stomp, the grab, the berry, the big up smash. Going to even out the stocks. Good work by Bob there. Down but not out. Of course, at 118 against Snake, this could prove interesting. And the big Nokita. Grenades. Ooh, catching Pelka in the blunderbuss. That could be a big opening for Bob, unfortunately. Pelka leaving their way back and using explosives to turn the tide, sending that Nokita off stage, not getting anything off of it. Finding a big grab that is gonna confirm into another F tilt that's gonna close up that stock. Last stock situation here for Bob. Uh, Pelka is still a full stock lead. Getting that down throw, that down air. All the things you wanna see. Racking up percent once more. All that extra credit is going to be so big in terms of keeping this lead and winning this game. Helka, you know they don't want to draw it out. You, they don't want to do a bracket reset. They're going to use that wall of bullshit. They're going to use their explosives. They're going to use every tool they have to finish this before Bob has a chance to get a comeback. Starting with the grenade pop up into the Nokita with the taunt. Getting in the box at the end of game two there. The score 2-0 in favor of Pelka. We're headed into game three, and this could be the last game of the tournament. If Pelka pl keeps playing this dominant, this could be the end of Through the Woods 10, right here, right now. The crowd is cheering for Bob to get a reverse 6-0, but with odds like that, you're starting to wonder if it's possible, or if Bob is gonna run out of steam before he can make the comeback. Nice spot dodge there, looking for a huge spike. They're playing so risky, so aggressively. Pelka really wants this done. Why a Nokita? Okay, such an early stock and the crowd going wild. Pelka has so much, so much percent deficit to make up after playing so risky. Now at a full stock down. This could be huge for Bob. Nice work though with the C4, using the grenade to punish for picking up the crown. So wonderful. Helka just keeping a level head and playing so methodically. Even after that SD, it's a little impressive. Getting caught by the blunderbuss though. Bob really looking to capitalize on this lead before it becomes an even game again. There we go, the Nokita off stage. Yeah, it's gonna seal that stock. Excellent work by Pelka, gotta get there. And now 66% is something that Bob can still work with, especially as it racks up to 94. However, we have seen Pelka turn around games already in this set. During game one, we saw it, and it looks like Pelka's gearing up to do it again. Nice job baiting that counter and rolling away. Another deep Nokita. Not quite finishing that stock, but looking for it. That one will, though, the second Nokita. And now Bob is on what is potentially his last stock of the tournament. If Bob loses this, it is over. If Bob dies, it is done. That is the tournament. Bob needs to take two stocks without dying, or else he's going home in second place. Helka is optimistic about this. <laughs> looking to seal the stock and seal it fast. Ooh, getting caught by the stomp up air. And now we are in a last stock situation here in game three of grand finals. Helka looking to use these explosives from a distance, looking to play so carefully. Bob looking to close the gap and get so aggressive, looking for these grabs, but the spot dodges from Pelka so on point, making sure to avoid throwing Bob into a grenade just to rack the extra percent. Bob starting to do his, his confident grab and throw back of whatever item comes his way. C4 on the top platform could be huge, but caught in the blunderbuss and dash attacked into. Pelka is now on the back foot. The grenade and the C4 on the top ledge ultimately sealing the tournament with a 3-0 for Pelka. A round of applause for both of our players here. A wonderful show from Bob with an awesome winner, loser side 